Hi everybody, this is uh, Joseph and welcome to your fourth tutorial on getting started with QML. Uh, so we talked in the last tutorial about the file bar and we talked about this options right here. So let's go ahead and click on that and take a look at what we actually are presented with. If we go up to the environment one, we can change the color of the user interface. Say so we just click on it and change it to green. Okay. We click on the apply button and we press OK if we want to close. We can see the system terminal that we need to use um, and you can see the external file browser. Okay. When files are externally modified, always ask. Some of these things you want to keep uh, as default at this point. Underneath keyboard, this is nice because we can set automatic keyboard shortcuts like say we want to set stop for the project explorer which i have set to control shift q we can press on this we can press reset and now it has nothing now we're actually going to press in our keys here so we select it right there and now any key that we press at this point right now is going to automatically go into that filter control shift q i press which i like to set it as and we press apply and we have now set a shortcut for in the project explorer to stop the project that we're working on okay so I hope you've done that now let's go over to external tools actually we don't need to really look at that mime types or locators yet over to the text editor we can set up the font family that we want to use through all the font families that we have installed on our local machine we can set the size of the font and the zoom ratio when it starts. We can pick out the def the color scheme uh, that we would like to use. We can also make our own later on. Behavior um, tab policy, it, the indent size, with spaces, without spaces, so on and so forth. Clean up white space. That means like dots after uh, dots and stuff like that that are unnecessarily not there and not to be used. Um, it'll clean it up automatically when we save it. Type of encodings that we want to use when saving and the mouse and keyboard actions that we have. The display, we can look at text wrapping and also for the display we can set what we want to see like visualize the white spaces, what we were just talking about there. And we can press the apply button when we find things that we, we like. The generic highlighter. Now this is fun because there is a highlighting mode that you are going to be using and you will see in um, QML very soon. And we can actually pick out different types of highlighters for different types of files. And I'm using Kate which is a text editor and if you would like to learn more about Kate you can just click right there and let's go to snippets uh, not really important yet macros or auto completion still not important fake vim if you're a VI user you're gonna want to use this um, in the editing mode you can switch it to be exactly like vim exactly like VI and use all the uh, fancy uh, ways of moving around VI within the editor. The help section, what type of family we want to when we're reading the help if we don't like the font family that it is in, in the style and the font pixels when it first shows up. And we can set uh, the type the way that we want to see it, um, where we're actually getting our help pages from, and we'll learn more about that in our advanced tutorials about making our own help pages documentation where you can get where the documentation is coming from again we'll learn more about that and filters we'll learn a lot more about that later on too uh, let's go over to qt quick because we can skip c plus plus now and you can pretty much leave this as is right now um, the build and run section is actually really important but we will be using we will be getting back to that later on uh, in another tutorial same with the debugging and the design and the analyzer so on and so forth we'll be getting back to all of the rest of these when we get to them in our tutorials so for right now i like what we see we press apply and we press ok and we are done with 
the tools options for right now. I hope you found this video fun. Uh, and if you have any questions, just leave them below. And uh, thanks for watching.